What's up YouTube, it's your boy Swaggatron here and holy shit, it's been a while since I did a video where I'm talking in it. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be doing a deck profile and it's going to be on the blue eyes deck that I recently used in my last showcase. So let's get started. Uh, first up we have three copies of the original blue eyes white dragon. Uh, then we have two copies of the blue eyes turn to white dragon. Uh, this card is coming out in the special movie pack that's gonna come out alongside the new Yu-Gi-Oh movie which comes out in April um, I don't know when or if uh, the TCG are, is gonna get it so can't really can't really say anything about that but here's his effect um, cannot be normal summoned or set must first be special summoned from your hand by revealing one blue eyes white dragon in your hand uh, you only get special summon blue eyes to turn the white dragon once per turn this way uh, this card becomes blue eyes white dragon while it is on the field or in the graveyard uh that that, that part is very relevant and then um he has another effect where once per turn if you you could target one monster your opponent controls destroy it uh this card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect great monster essentially you could special summon a 3k beater out of your hand for for no reason and he has not this effect we could just blow up a problematic monster just just a great card Next up we have two copies of White Spirit Dragon, a card that is coming out in Shining Victories. Uh, here's his effect. This card is treated as a normal monster while in your hand or in the graveyard. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one spell, trap your opponent controls, banish it. And then he has a, another effect where during either, either player's turn, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card special summon one blue-eyes white dragon from your hand. Um, oh, and he also has a clause where it says this card is always treated as a blue eyes card. Uh, th that part is actually very relevant. So his effect uh, mainly, basically he's a walking MST upon summon. The fact that he can banish a spell or trap is just really fantastic because you could just banish things like pendulum scales so they c your opponent can't reuse them or you could banish problematic spell or traps like uh what's this card toy vendor from fluffles because that card triggers when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard so instead you could just banish it which is just overall great and his second effect where you just tribute him to special summon the blue eyes that effect is okay you could do some combos with that um it's mainly good for like clearing boards like if your opponent has two monsters on the field and you only have a um, white spirit dragon on the field but you have a blue eyes in hand uh, during the battle phase you could attack one your opponent's monsters with white spirit dragon and then distribute it and just special summon that blue eyes from your hand just attack the remaining monster and just clear, help clear out your opponent's board that way so it's pretty good in that aspect uh next for next up we have the stone cards uh first up we have the ancient white stone which is a, another card from shining victories his effect is once per turn during the end phase if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn uh, you can special summon one blue eyes from your deck. You're going to use that effect mainly most of the time to just summon white spirit dragon just to get him out your deck. Or you could just use it for blue eyes white dragons just to have a 3k beater on the field. And then he has another effect is you can banish this card from the graveyard and target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You only use this effect once per turn. Mainly what I like to do with that effect is I could add a re uh, add a used up alternative white dragon in my graveyard and just put it in my hand so I could just special summon it right away if I have a blue eyes in my hand or if I have an alternative white dragon that's dead in my hand because I don't have a blue eyes I could just use um ancient white stone to add a blue eyes that's in my graveyard to my hand so my alternative white dragon is alive so it's pretty cool in that aspect and you can also use this effect to like add a blue eyes or something from your graveyard to your hand so you can make a trade in life so you could discard it so it's, it's it's really it's a really good effect. And then uh, last we have the original White Stone Legend. Uh, mainly pitches you get a blue eyes your hand, so you could just set up for your turn of White Dragon. That's literally it. All right, for the Spellcaster Tuners, we have the original Blue Eyes Monster for the archetype, uh, made with the eyes of blue. Uh, you guys should know what that already does, so I'm not gonna really talk about it too much. Um, next up we have Sage Knight with the eyes of blue, a card coming out in Shining Victories. Uh, his effect is when this card is normal summoned, you can add one level one light tuner from your deck to your hand, except himself. Um, pretty much a rotor for your level one tuners. You can pretty much search out any tuner in this deck with him. Second effect: you could discard this card from discard this card, then target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one blue eyes monster from your deck. You only can use this 
effect of Sage Knight once per turn. Uh, yeah, so basically, like a hero lives or something, I guess. Except that the at the cost of life points, you have to target a monster and send it to the graveyard. Mainly, you would like to use his effect in conjunction with Maiden with the Eyes of Blue because that effect targets. So if you use it on Maiden with Eyes of Blue, her effect will trigger. So you also get another Blue Eyes, essentially, for free. So it's a really good way to set up for a rank eight play or just summon out two beaters from your deck graveyard or whatever. Um, with Sage Knight, I mainly like to use his effect to get um, White Spray Dragon. Because again, it's always treated as a blue eyes card, so you could get it with Sage Knight. And upon summon, you could just uh, banish a spell or trap, so that's a good way in conjunction with that. And then right after that, you could just make a rank 8 play because of the blue eyes you got in off of Maiden because she was targeted. Uh, and then lastly, for the monsters, we have. Priest with the Eyes of Blue, a card from Shining Victories. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you could target one level 1 light tuner monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. A uh, good way to recycle some of your monsters, get back like a Maiden or a, or a Sage Knight. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is use this effect to get back a Sage Knight in my graveyard, and then activate Sage Knight's uh, discard effect to target Priest and send to the graveyard so I can special summon uh, maybe a uh, White Spirit Dragon from my deck. And then he also has a second effect where it says you could shuffle this card from your graveyard into your deck, then target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one blue eyes monster from your graveyard, except that monster. Then you can use this effect of Priest with the Eyes of Blue once per turn. A uh, good way to special summon back some of your monsters from your grave, uh, mainly, most likely you might go for White Spirit Dragon again, just for that MST effect, banish a uh, spell or trap, or uh, a three, again, Blue eyes, 3k beater. Um, and again, it's same same concept as uh, Sage Knight with Eyes of Blue. You want to use that effect in conjunction with uh, Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Because again, it's a targeting effect, so it's a good way to help trigger her so you can get two monsters out. Because again, get back a monster because of uh, Priest, and then Maiden will trigger and getting you another blue eyes. So you have two blue eyes on the field. Okay, moving on to spells. We play one copy of Regeki. Uh, then one for one. Uh, I really, really don't like this card too much, but it's kind of needy because there are a lot of times where this card actually kind of helped me out. I just don't like the whole discarding thing because there's a lot of stuff that involves discarding in this deck. And the, the fact that you had to discard a monster instead of just anything irks me a bit. But again, it's kind of needy because it can bail you out at times. Uh, next up we have Dragon Shrine. With Dragon Shrine, what I like to do is send a copy of white spirit dragon and then any of the three one any of these uh stone cards because that that's mainly what you want to do you just want to send the stone cards and just help trigger them that way uh next we have two copies of the melody awakening dragons i have no idea if this card is out currently in tcg or not i really don't know but here's this effect uh discard one card add up to two dragon type monsters with three thousand or more attack or and twenty five hundred or or less defense from your deck to your hand. Basically, it's gonna be a rota for your blue eyes and alternative white dragon. That's literally the reason why it's in here in this deck. Um, you honestly only need to resolve one copy. That's the most I ever really resolve when I'm using this deck, which is the reason why I'm playing two copies as opposed to three. Uh, next for spells, we have two copies of Where Art Thou. I was playing three before, but I realized three was really cloggy, so I cut it down to two, and it's been working out great that way. Um, two copies of trade-in. A lot of people like to play three copies of it, which is fair Fair enough. That's it's just fine if you want to play three. I play two because I realize in duels I only resolve one copy. Two if I'm lucky. I never resolve three of them, which is why I decided to cut it down to two. Uh, then we have three copies of Gospel Revival. Uh, okay, this card is not coming out for a very long time, I think. It, uh, this card currently is coming out in the Felgrand structure deck, the new one, and I don't know when that's coming out in the OCG yet, so it's going to be a fairly long time before the TCG gets this card, but here's its effect. Um, target one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster in your graveyard, special summon it, pretty much a monster born for dragons, and it has a secondary effect is, if a dragon type monsters you control would be destroyed by battle by card effect while this card is in the graveyard, banish this card instead. Really great card to help protect your monsters, because 
for some reason, I'm always getting rejected by people, so this is a good way to protect your dragons. Like, if you let's say you have three blue eyes white dragons on the field and your opponent activates Regeki, you just banish this card from your graveyard, all your blue eyes will be protected. Just a fantastic card. Um, and then we play one copy of Silver's Cry just for just an extra Monster Born thing for this deck. Uh, what the reason why I play one copy is because since it's a quick play spell, what I like to do is during my opponent's end phase is when they set some cards face down, I'll activate Silver's Cry and the special summon a uh, Spirit Dragon, and then Spirit Dragon will trigger and just banish one of those uh, face down cards. That's the main reason why I really like that card. Um, okay, then we have two of the few spells, Light Mausoleum, which is from Shining Victories. Uh, during your main phase, you can normal summon one level 1 light tuner monster in addition to your normal summoner set. Uh, and then it has another effect is once per turn, you can target one face of monster you control, send one normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, that target gains attack and defense equal to that set monster's level in the graveyard times 100 until the end of this turn. Uh, okay, before before, I really, really did not like this card, but after I saw what it actually did for the deck, it's really a fantastic card. Cause like, let's say you open up this and and um, Sage Knight, activate the fuel spell. Normal summon Sage Knight. Sage Knight's effect will activate. You can get yourself a Maiden. Then you can normal summon your Maiden thanks to Light Mausoleum, and then you can activate Light Mausoleum to target your Maiden. The Maiden will trigger. And getting you a blue eyes, and then you can just use your blue eyes with Sage Knight and sync her up into your uh, bl um, blue eye spirit dragon. And then you essentially have a blue eye spirit dragon and the maiden that you could reuse next turn, it's, and that's just a pretty solid board. So that, that's the reason why I like this spell so much because you get a lot of utility out of your tuners, and it's a really good card that you could just keep consistently targeting mating with and just triggering her. Um, the downside to Mausoleum is that you're gonna go through a lot of your blue eyes is really really quick from the deck because of the cost to target her uh yeah and then um one copy of terraforming to search out your fuse spell and if some people are wondering why i'm playing uh two copies of the fuse spell and one terraforming as opposed to just like three copies of the fuse spell and then one terraforming something like that um because three copies is excessive you don't really need it honestly two copies is fair fine enough and then i just played the extra terraforming just for the deck thinning capabilities i guess and lastly for the spells, we have two Twin Twisters, a uh, fantastic card overall currently in the game. Can't really say anything too negative about it. And it really works it well in this deck because a lot of the cards in this deck, is, you could go could go quite dead fairly quick. Like, um, Melody of the Waking Dragons could become dead quickly, uh, Where Our Dog could become dead quickly, Trade in, one for one, so on and so forth could become dead quickly. Even this Fuel Spell could become dead quickly. Uh, you could just use those to this, this discard as a cause for Twin Twister so that's why Twin Twister is fantastic in this deck and it also can help you set up your graveyard like you could probably send uh, one of your like a white spirit dragon in your hand to the grave so, so you could set up for your eyes or you could just send your stones and help trigger them so Twin Twister just overall fantastic in this deck and then um for traps uh small trap lineup uh one copy of Andy's Emptiness, one Solemn Morning, one Solemn Notice and two Breakthrough Skill I only play one copy of Solemn Notice because I already have a copy of Solemn Warning and Solemn Notice, so that's overall 3500 life points I'm going to take as for the cost for these cards. And I also have to factor in in case I take damage from Where Are Dows, which is the reason why I'm only playing one Solemn Notice as opposed to like one Warning and triple and triple Notice or two Notice, because the cost because sometimes you will take damage Where Are Dow because you just can't normal summon the card that you added with it. Alright, so that's it for the main deck. Uh, quickly, uh, since the video is going on quite longer than I expected, uh, we're gonna go quickly through the extra deck. Um, one copy of Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. I yeah, I believe this is coming on Shining Victories. Don't quote me on it though. Um, I barely ever make this card, but I just keep it just in case the situation appears where I'm gonna need this. Uh, to make it, you you need um, two copies of Blue Eyes White Dragons. Uh, hear what it says. Must be either fusion summoned or special summoned by sending the above monsters you control to the graveyard in which you do not need polymerization. Uh, pretty much contact fusion. And cannot be special summoned by any other ways. It cannot be destroyed by battle. This card can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. I hate that it has to attack monsters, but whatever. And then um, at the end of the damage step, 
when this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster on the field. A uh, pretty good way to clear out monsters, I guess, that are like really high up in attack. Like maybe uh, uh, one good situation I've seen it used is against some um, super heavy samurai against Benke because that motherfucker has 300 defense. So make this attack into it. You probably you'll take 800 damage, but at least you get to banish the fucker. And then uh. It also can't be destroyed by battle, so you could battle and you could go straight into and attack some of the uh maybe some of the cosmos ships or something. I I really don't know, but still good card. Situa I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a situation where this comes into play. Uh for the synchros, we have three copies of the new synchro, Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. Coming out Shining Victories, great, fantastic card. Um I'm gonna run through the quick the effect real quick. Uh, to make it one tuner and one more non-tuner blue eyes monsters uh, Here's the fact neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time So it's a good way to lock down pendulum summoning and forcing them into this pendulum summoning one monster Keep in mind what they could do is pendulum summon one monster then just normal summon to like make an exceed or something, but At least it could crack down on The, noc the obnoxiousness of pendulum summoning uh, then the other effect is once per turn during either play a turn, when a card effect is activated in the graveyard, you can negate the activation. Great against cards like Fluffles, Burning Abyss, Shadals. Great effect. And then his other effect is uh, during either play a turn, you can tribute this Synchro Summon card. Special Summon one Light Dragon type Synchro Monster from your extra deck in defense position. Accept himself, but destroy it during the end phase. Um. Mainly, you're going to use that effect to go into Azure Eye Silver Dragon. And it's a really, really good card. I mean, good um, target because when Azure Eyes is summoned, he his effect automatically triggers where your Dragon type monsters that are currently on the field cannot be destroyed. So, once it hits the end phase, your monsters will be per your your, your single, The single monster you chose is going to be perfectly fine because Azure Eyes protects himself. Um, here's Azurize's effect. I'm gonna read through the whole thing in case some people forgot what it did. Uh, when this card is special summoned, dragon type monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects until the end phase of until the end of the next turn. Which is why it's a good target for your silver dragon. Then his other effect is once per turn during your standby phase, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard. Keynote, you can also target White Spirit Dragon, because since he's a normal monster in your graveyard. And then special summon. Really, really good card because it helps. It helps build up your board presence. It helps reuse your dragons that are in the graveyard, which is very, very crucial. Um, next up for the synchros, we have Cloud Castle, just to help you make a rank nine play or something. And then one copy of Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Um, the way you summon this is through Silver Dragon. What I like to do is sometimes my opponent will summon something that's really big in attack, like maybe Utopia the Lightning or something. Um, so so with Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, it won't make any sense to go into Azure Eyes because let's say Utopia the Li Utopia Lightning is on the field, he's just gonna run over Azure Eyes. So there's gonna be no benefit to summoning it. So what I would do is just tribute off Spirit Dragon, special summon uh, um, Moonlight, and then use Moonlight's effect to bounce back the Utopia the Lightning. Sure. Black Rose is gonna die because of Silver Spirit Dragon's side effect, but at least I got rid of the Utopia, so it's it's a benefit, I guess. For Exceeds, we have one Fogrand, Fogrand, probably my favorite rank 8 because not only is he like the most annoying thing in the world sometimes for people, you can use it to trigger Maiden because it targets, so during, during my opponent's end phase, what I like to do is just target my Maiden and then Maiden effects a trigger, I'll get a blue eyes. And then during my phase, I could trigger her again and get another blue eyes, make it rank 8. Have fun, let's go. The combos. <laughs> and then uh, next up we have uh, number 20, 23, Lancelot. I don't, I never made this card, but it's a good thing if you try to like, let's say you're trying to go for a game, but your opponent has like that one phase down you're scared of, you could just make this and it'll just negate it. Um, and then here's the newest XYZ number 38. Hope Harmager Dragon Titanic Galaxy. That's a fantastic name. Uh, I have no. I think I have no idea honestly when this card is coming out, but it's a really, really good card. Uh, the main effect that you that's really relevant is that it can negate during each play turn. It can negate 
the activation of a spell card, which is great because you could just negate of uh, activation of a pendulum skill and absorb it. And then we have number 62, Prime Photon Dragon. And then Galaxy Guys, Full Armor Photon Dragon. Um, number 95, Dark Man Dragon, because this card is absolutely stupid in this deck. Because the fact that you can send three Dragon Monsters from your deck to the graveyard and just help set up your graveyard is just godlike. You can just send your Ancient Stones or your Spirit Dragons. It's just it's just nutty. And then one Mirage Fortress Enter Blanker? I think is how you say say it. I don't know. Uh it's a rank nine and the way you make it is with Cloud Castle, because you, you summon Cloud Castle, Cloud Castle's effect activates special summon a uh, level nine synchro from your graveyard, and then overlay into this guy. The main reason why I like this guy is cause he can banish a card on your opponent banish a card on your opponent's field and it does not target. You can also can banish stuff from like the graveyard and their deck, but mainly I like to banish something on the field that's problematic. And the fact that it doesn't target is just phenomenal. And in the side deck, we just have some cards that you could use. Is this option that you could just keep in mind? Dragon's Mirror, Blue Eyes Ultimate. I really want to summon this card. I might use this card in a duel at some point, just so I can summon it. Um, Priestess with the Eyes of Blue. I don't like this card because it's literal. It's it's sort of the same thing as the Melody Awakening Dragons, which is why I don't like it too much. Um, Guard with the Eyes of Blue. I like. I really like this card. I just don't have the room for it. Um, Sylvan Princess Sprite, um, Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord, uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. You actually can make this. I just don't make it often enough to justify me keeping it. But if you want, the option is there. You, you can put it in the extra deck. Uh, Upstar Goblin. I don't like running Upstar because I like to OTK and Upstar conflicts in some way with that. So I rather not. Um, Light Guidance, really good card for OTKing. Um, Foolish Burial. I've seen um, someone um, looking for the tops. If you don't know his channel, his channel, go check it out. Uh, he plays this card just for the simple fact that it's you could not only you get to send your your ancient white stones, you have the option of sending priests to the graveyards and sending priests to the graveyard just a quick way to help get you uh, blue eyes from your grave. So it's really good like that. And shrine can't send priests, which is the reason why foolish burial is an option if you want to run that instead. And then um, MST and Galaxy Cyclone in case you don't want to run the Twin Twisters and extra copy of Trajan if you want to bump up the trading count to 3. Okay, let's talk about what's good about this deck. Um, good thing about the deck is that you can special summon... You can special summon a lot of Blue Eyes White Dragons to the field. And the fact that you can special summon so many high attacking monsters to the field, some people just can't deal with that. And the fact that if you have a Zero Eyes on the field, your monsters can't be targeted or destroyed which means it's even a bigger nuisance for your opponent and it just becomes overwhelming after a time and you also have access to powerful synchros like blue eyes spirit dragon like it helps lock down pendulum summoning to the point where it can't be too obnoxious it can negate things in the graveyard um you can special summon you can use to special summon out your azura eyes where and azura eyes which is another powerful synchro like again it protects your monsters from being destroyed or targeted and you can use it to like bring back blue eyes from your graveyard and just keep recurring them and just be overwhelming and just like have a very strong board. Um, what's bad about the deck is that every card here relies on something in order for it to be used. Like a turn of white dragon, you have to rely on uh, having a blue eyes in hand. Uh, your stones, you have to find a way to discard them or send to the graveyard for them to trigger. Maiden, you have to find a way to target them. Uh, one for one, you have to have a monster hand to discard. Uh, where a dog, you have to have a monster. What well, one monster on the field to activate? Trade in, you have to have a level eight monster in your hand to activate it. It just becomes annoying, and then, and then that at least being to the point where you, your deck could just easily break. But regardless of that, it's still a fun deck to try out, just because of the fact of what it could do for what it is. Um, overall, though, Konami did a good job with with the legacy support for this. Uh, what did like compared to like the red eyes and the busted blader stuff blue eyes is just far superior for what it, what they did with it just overall great and i suggest you try it out just to this experience what this deck could do 
Uh, but yeah guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the deck profile. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the next one.